Thousands of volunteers are helping with hurricane recovery efforts right now, and that includes groups from Minnesota. And they're doing everything from handing out supplies to restoring power. Callan Gray talked to some of them, plus a woman who recently moved from Minnesota to Florida, and she lost everything. Callan? A story so many are experiencing right now. Kevin, the National Guard also tells us tonight it's sending 11 soldiers and two Chinook cargo helicopters to transport goods and people throughout the disaster area. This follows a request from North Carolina officials. Meanwhile, people who lived through the storm are picking up the pieces across several states. My house. The water was up to here. Kelsey Baton waded through water as she returned to her Port Ritchie, Florida home a day after Hurricane Helene hit. My home is not salvageable. Um, it is a complete loss. She moved to Florida last year from Cambridge. She was home with her seven-month-old niece and her niece's mother when the water came up quickly Thursday night. And within 10 minutes after checking at 10 o'clock p.m., I we were like, what is that smell? And... We, I thought maybe it was the trash, so I went to go take the trash out, and I stepped in water, stepping out of my house. It was already up um, past my knees. They grabbed the diaper bag and fled to higher ground. We were all um, just trying to get out of there as quickly as we could once we realized how fast water was rushing in. There's a lot of people that are going to need help. For a very long time. Dorothy Maples is further north in Florida, one of two Minnesotans with the Salvation Army who went down to help. A lot of them still don't have power, um, so they're relying on hot meals and stuff from different people that are feeding throughout the community. My team of four has served 1,300 meals in the last two days. To help restore power, Excel Energy is sending 40 people from the northern state's region south for at least two weeks. It's very, very severe. Uh, you know, being out of power for the number of days that they have now. Um, and I would expect the power outages to last uh, uh, for a prolonged period of time. Excel says it sent that team to Augusta, Georgia today, and I'm told they will likely end up being dispatched to North Carolina to help restore power there. Minnesotans are helping in smaller ways, too. Siblings in Pine City raising $95 through a lemonade stand over the weekend to go to relief efforts, Kevin. Every little bit helps. Thank you, Kellen. And you can help people impacted by Helene right now through a variety of trusted relief organizations. Just follow the link. We've posted under Featured on 5 in the free KSTP mobile app.